Hi, this is Mitch from BitBlock Systems at www.bitblock.com. We're helping companies help people work from home today. This here is a uh, Yealink W60P. It is a decked phone, which is a wireless phone that doesn't rely on Wi-Fi. Uh, it uh, doesn't interfere with things or doesn't accept interference or get interfered by microwave ovens, cordless phones, garage door openers, baby monitors, that sort of thing. So it's a, uh, a really good phone to adopt a work from home strategy with because it's very simple to set up and, uh, you know, get operating with minimal interference or any kind of complications involving what else you might have set up in your house. Using the magic of the internet, we're going to very quickly unbox this phone. Shazam! As you can see here, we've got a phone. We've got a belt clip for the phone. We have a charger for the phone charging base, the stand that helps this little base unit remain upright, battery, network cable, charging base for the phone, and a power adapter for the base unit if you're not operating the base unit using power over ethernet or a power over ethernet injector. In general, the base unit should be located near the center of your uh, house, but it has to be located where you can plug it into a network connection and power. Um, that's really all that's required is to connect this power adapter right in there and then connect a network cable from this port right here over to your router uh, or network switch or any sort of a wired internet connection. Over here we have the uh, charging dock for the phone. This would get plugged into the USB charger that it comes with. It can be plugged into pretty much any other USB charger or a USB port on a phone, etc. That goes into uh, the power outlet and the phone will stand up there on the base. When we have the base unit connected and once the cables are all in place, you can bend those cables over and this unit can be made to stand up and uh, that is how that works. If you're adding additional phones or you need to do other things, there's certain reasons that you'll be required to press this button on the front of the unit. Um, otherwise, just leave that button alone. Nothing's required. Uh, you've got uh, these little indicator lights here that'll indicate when you've got power, ne network connectivity, and when the phones are connected uh, to the device as well. Um, over here, we've got the um, we've got a uh, a battery that we're going to have to put into the phone, and you can see here they've double wrapped it to keep it dry. Lithium batteries don't like moisture, and if we try to put the battery in backwards, it's not going to work. It uh, it has to be put in with the right alignment. And as you can see there, there's little gold fingers. And they line up with little gold pins. Make sure the writing on the battery faces you. And when that side is put in, you can kind of see how the battery levers into place like that. And then once that's done, the back pops on. And the phone itself, which is already powering up, would go into a charging dock like that and away you go. So this phone and its power has no physical connection necessary to talk to the base unit and once these units are powered up they will auto program and set themselves up. If there is any issue we might ask you to reboot the base unit which will cause it to reload its programming and that is about all uh, you have to worry about. This phone here can use this pocket clip if you like that sort of thing. And it can also use a regular headset like a cell phone headset or other headset uh, using this 1 8 inch adapter or jack on the bottom. And uh, that's about it. That's 
all you need to know to power it up the Yealink W60B and uh, get it running. Additional phones, W56H, can be added to this unit and uh, all that programming can be taken care of by us. Uh, just let us know what you need. Thank you. This has been Mitch from BitBlock Systems, www.bitblock.com. Thanks for listening and uh, have a great day.